Welcome back to another video. This one is going to be about finding inspiration to shop your own closet. Shopping your closet is a term that is thrown around quite a lot, but in reality, I think we can all feel like the things we own are a bit stale. So it's always good to find ways to re-inspire ourselves to look at the things we have in a new and interesting way. This first image that I found that gave me some inspiration was this image of Camille Cherrier and she's someone that I do follow on Instagram and I enjoy seeing all her posts. This is likely a very old photo of her. What I liked about it and what felt quite fresh to me is that she's dressed in a winter outfit, obviously she's got a heavy coat on, but she's carrying a summer bag, a straw bag, which is not what you'd expect for this amount of layering and there was something just so effortless about having this summer textured bag with an all winter look. Now I don't have a straw bag but what I do have is this leather basket bag, woven bag. I don't know exactly what you would call it but I picked this up from H&M about four years ago and because it's leather it's held up quite good. I think there is a broken strap somewhere. I'm not bothered to fix it really. It's still in pretty good nick and I love using this. To be honest though I only use it in the summer. This picture has made me think that I'm going to add this to my winter wardrobe and as the days are getting colder now in the northern hemisphere I'm really going to enjoy Joy bringing this little touch of summer into my winter looks. I love this next image. It is a very minimal look and something I would likely wear. I don't actually have a black skirt like that but I definitely have a navy blazer. I'm a fan as you can tell. Great opportunity as I always do just to jump in and let you know that this is one of my reworked blazers. It's called the modern style and there's a link in the description box to my website to see all the things that I rework and upcycle. But back to this little source of inspiration. What I took from this image is the combination of a flat casual sandal with items that are quite luxe looking. These are items that I'd likely wear to the office but what I can do by popping on a sandal like this is tone them down for the weekend. Now in this image she is wearing quite a refined sandal but what I would switch out here is one of my pairs of Tevas. I really love a Teva sandal. I have three or four pairs I think burgeoning little collection. For me Tevas are a classic. They're also quite a magic little shoe because they somehow really pair well with more dressy items. They look great with dresses, they look great with different textures like a satin or with a structured blazer. They really have the ability to tone it down and that means I'm wearing things all throughout the week. Something that I'd wear to work, I can also wear on the weekend for a more casual vibe. Now this next image is a favorite. I'm really inspired by the styling here and I don't have anything as glitzy or out there as a sequined skirt in my wardrobe currently but I really love the idea of perhaps in the future investing in some really great occasion wear and it would likely be something that's a top or a skirt, maybe separates because let's be honest, ain't nobody going to a ball around here. I really love the idea of having these items in my wardrobe if I want to use them for something like a dressy occasion. However, I know that my lifestyle doesn't really take me to those places. So if I did invest in buying something like this, I would likely need to find ways to wear it on the daily and tone it down. Of course, I'm drawn to the blazer, I'm drawn to the shirt, the cowboy boot, really classic, but also a very practical shoe, comfortable. It's really grounding the sequin skirt. So while I may not be popping this on or have these items in my wardrobe now, I'm definitely thinking about if I did come across something or I did choose to buy something like this I would know that I'm making a great investment and that I could really play around with this in my wardrobe and wear it multiple times. Back to items that I do have in my wardrobe. Something I'm definitely going to be doing as the temperatures get lower and we move into the full winter season is wearing my knitwear as a scarf just like this image. I love how relaxed and easy and effortless it looks and I've seen lots of variations of how people wear knitwear over their shoulders. Sometimes they tie it cross body, sometimes they tie it really tight or really loose. There's lots of options for draping knitwear around one's shoulders. I really like this image and this is something I'm definitely going to do. So I've got a favorite gray jumper here and basically what the image looks like is just draping it to the side. So 
over one shoulder and they've kind of got the sleeves hanging. I got it. Ah, I got the back one coming over the front. That looks more like it. Such a cool, clever way to use something you already have. Everyone's got a jumper. Wearing it in a scarf for a little bit of extra warmth and some cool layering texture, I think is so, so fun. I find a lot of inspiration from Acne Studios. That goes without saying. I pulled up these images that really just drew me to the simplest thing you can do to elevate a look or just to add a little bit of fun into something you're already wearing. What I'm drawing from these pictures, obviously I have none of these items in my wardrobe and I'm not really looking at the styling of the look sort of from the neck down. What drew me in was the one earring thing. I'm a fan, as you can tell, of wearing just asymmetric random earrings all together. I'm not afraid to mix metals and I'm not afraid to just mix it up. I don't feel like this needs to be symmetrical. I really loved the mix of the shades, the style of earring was like a hoop with a little bit of something dangling down. I also love the little neckerchief. I definitely think I will be styling a lot of looks with this type of accessorizing. I've got this little black neckerchief here. It's a little silk scarf, very cute. It's got little bugs on it. I'm just going to roll it up and very haphazardly tied around my neck. I'm not really a whiz with these types of things and I always do prefer when things look quite effortless so don't pay too much attention to it I wouldn't say. Does that look okay? Just a little bit of added texture there. I'm keeping mine tonal. I've got a black top, a black little neckerchief and the navy blazer. I quite like that. I then am going to switch out one of my earrings for a little earring that I made. I just took some pearls and strung them along and add them onto a little gold earring. I'm going to pop that on, leave the silver hoop next to it just to try and get the look of the actual image. Silk neck scarf on, earring on. I got these Stella McCartney Sunnies from eBay secondhand. I think I've actually said that before in a video. I think they really complete the look. Now I am a little bit more snazzy than what I was before. It's essentially the same outfit, the same pieces, but I feel like it just feels a little bit more fashion, maybe trying to bring an element of looking a little bit more editorial for every day. It's comfortable, it's not too out there, but I think if I ever needed a little bit of a kick, I could definitely do this and uh, feel quite good about it. The final image, this amazing jeans and shirt combo. The thing that's really standing out here for me is the addition of the belt that really becomes a focus with the half tuck of the shirt. We all know how to do a half tuck. It's a pretty standard way to wear a shirt, but I feel like it's really accentuated and highlighted by the belt being there. I also love the addition of a cap. What really speaks to me here is the practicality of this look. I would wear this with a sandal or with a pair of boots to the office or with a loafer. Equally, I can wear it with a sneaker and a cap on the weekend. This is also a really great one to end on because I have all these things in my wardrobe. Not these exact ones, but items very similar. I've got a blue shirt, I've got a pair of jeans and I've definitely got a leather belt. I also have caps. A hot tip for how to get cool caps. There's a lot of ones that are out there selling new and trying to be vintage, but Depop and Vinted are great places to find old caps. For instance, I have my own little collection here. Second hand, second hand. Okay, this one's from the Uniqlo JW collab. Second hand. This one is from a magazine. And again, second hand. You can really just add it on to a classic combo of a shirt and jeans. And for me, there's something really practical but cool about this. It has all of a sudden gotten super dark. Just another example of the fact that we are definitely going into the depths of winter. I hate when the light drops. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video about how to find inspiration to shop your own wardrobe. And it goes without saying that, of course, not everyone's style and aesthetic is going to be the same as mine, but I hope that 
seeing these images and the way that I look at them might spark something in you or just give you the push you need to get back into your wardrobe and play with what you have, accessorize and put a bunch of outfits together that maybe you never thought of before. Is this something you're already doing? If so, or if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you soon.